Hello, Jackie. Diana Richards, hi. Um, I've got some bad news, I'm afraid. Um, I don't know whether you've heard yet, probably not. Um, so, Lee was quite badly burned on Friday night and is in the special burns unit at Roehampton Hospital at the moment. Yeah. Yes, apparently she was uh, plonked in the sink to wash her bottom and then the ascot was turned on and the water went very hot and burnt all down her back. Dia Richards is a social worker for the London Borough of Hammersmith. Sort of just above the middle of a baby the girl she's responsible for uh, has been injured by her mother, her well. so seriously that Dia Richards and her colleagues yeah. now have to decide whether to take the child away from her parents. So we're going to have to have an emergency case conference and I felt that your presence would be very important there in view of w deciding what's going to happen to Lee when she leaves hospital. And there obviously is a question of her not going home. Since 1948, no fewer than 10 different laws have been passed that give social workers responsibility for all our children up to the age of 18. Their tasks are many, ranging from helping delinquent teenagers to placing babies in nurseries. But in recent years, grave doubts have emerged in the public mind about whether social workers are doing their job properly in one area, that of preventing child abuse. The 1973 case of seven-year-old Maria Colwell who was starved and beaten to death by her stepfather, caused a wave of horror. A public inquiry found the social services largely to blame. And since then, there's been a continuing stream of dramatic child abuse cases. After Maria Colwell came Max Piazzani, who died aged four and weighing only 15 pounds. His parents were jailed, and again the social services were officially found to be at fault. Then came the case of Stephen Mers in 1975. At the age of 16 months, he was starved to death by his mother. He weighed just 10 pounds when he died. The family was being visited by social workers at the time. In fact, whenever such cases come up, it's often social workers who get much, if not all, of the blame. But in spite of the publicity, most people still don't fully realize the extent of child abuse. Di Richards is a specialist dealing with child abuse cases. It's, it's very hard to, to know exactly because estimates vary such a lot, but um, currently estimates seem to be that there may be between seven and 8,000 children a year uh, injured as a result of child abuse, and probably about a tenth of those may be actually killed. So it is a big problem, and we're still not clear exactly how big it is because there's no compulsory reporting in England as there is in some of the United States. Because of the size of the problem, the government has ordered local councils' social services departments to be specially vigilant. But with harrowing cases continuing to come to light, it's clear that the efforts of social workers are not stopping child abuse. Who wants a drink? No! Well, sit down there if you want a drink. Sit down now, nicely. Come on, Robert. The trouble is, it's not an easy task to decide whether or when children should be separated from their parents. The issues are far from black and white. Oh, sorry. Oh, don't...